this video is intended to help with the Alex topic outcome and event probability in the statistics and probability pie slice. So what we're looking at here are possible situations and then the likeliness that each one will occur. So what we're doing is tossing a coin, right? And we, when we toss a coin, we're either going to get heads or tails, um, unless you have some really weird thing going on and it happens to land right on the rim. I don't think that's possible. Um, if you've got some spare time and a coin, you know, flip away. Maybe it'll happen. Let me know if it does. Don't, uh, don't get your hopes up, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each event and possible outcome and determine what the likeliness or the probability is that that event occurs. So what we've got listed here in this table are our events on the side. So what we want to see is going to happen. And then the possibilities, right? Because if you flip three coins, you're going to get some combination of heads and tails in, you know, whatever order. Sometimes we care about the order, sometimes we don't. So let's look at these events. So event A says no heads on the last two tosses. So we can only have an H in the first column or not at all. So here, right, this one, this will work. And we have got an H, but then we flipped tails twice. But here, we flipped two tails and a heads. That's no good. We see we've got heads second, so that's no good. All right, this one doesn't even stand a chance because we flipped three heads in a row, so we definitely have heads on the last two tosses. This one started with tails and then went to heads, so that's a no. Heads, tails, heads, again, that's a no. Oh, this time we flipped all tails, so we're good. Because we don't really care what's happening in the first flip for this event. We just are focusing on the last two tosses. And once again, we see an H there, so no good. So we had eight possibilities here. And in two of them, the event we wanted will occur. So we have two out of eight. We always write our fractions in simplest form for these types of problems. So that's going to look like one fourth. All right, I'm going to change the color just for fun. And we repeat that same process down here. So our new event is ahead on each of the last two tosses. So kind of the opposite that we were looking for up here. So now we need it to end HH. Again, we don't care what's happening in that first column. But the first time that it does work out doesn't happen until our fourth toss when we toss, or fourth trial, when we toss three heads in a row. And then we luck out, because once again, we start with the tails, but then we toss two heads. But we are out of luck for the rest of our trials because we've got some tails in those last couple tosses. So once again, we see that two times out of our eight possibilities, we got the outcome that we wanted. And then last but not least, Event C, alternating head and tail. And either one can go first. So we just can't have two of the same letter next to each other in any of our possibilities. So this one will work out. And we've got a couple more no's. Then we have another one that alternates. And some more no's. And then once again, this is like our number of the day, we have two eighths. And that is all you need to do to fill these tables out. So you're looking at when it could occur, 
and you're either checking or not checking the box. And at the end, you do your fractions and you remember to make it in simplest form. If you guys have any more questions on this topic, let me know.